a gym once filled with life. I don't know anyone who actually knew him that didn't like him. Now sits empty, like the hearts of hundreds at this vigil. This parking lot is where 18-year-old Roosevelt Cooper was shot and killed Thursday, just before three in the afternoon. Take a minute, please, moment of silence. Roosevelt is someone that you just don't expect that to happen to. He was so bright. He was such a great student. He was such a good athlete. Two hours after I seen him. Two hours before the fatal shooting, Roosevelt was back at high school picking up his diploma and saying goodbye. To be informed with the news is, is just something that uh, it's going to take a really long time for me to deal with. And he was telling me goodbye, but I didn't think it was that kind of goodbye. Friends say Roosevelt was funny and intelligent. This video of high school graduation shows how he captured attention. He hated losing. On defense, coaches say he was relentless. Even down court, the opponents could never get away. By far the fiercest competitor I've had the pleasure of coach in my four years here at Hogan Prep. If I had to play against him, I would hate it. But with him being on my team, I loved it. I mean, it, it's just that kid that would just get in your face, not touch you, but just in your, in your space. Instead of sending a son off to college, Tonight, the family plans his funeral. For some reason, it just keeps going on, and at some point, it has to. We have to start valuing human life more. He, he wasn't supposed to go to go this early.